Welcome everyone. This is Professor Dickerson and I'm going to give you a uh, short tutorial on how to use the statistical software JUMP, uh, JMP, to create some simple graphic displays of data and calculate some uh, summary statistics. All right, so um, on Blackboard I've posted the data file that you'll be using. It's called CARS 2015 and it has the extension JMP. So you have to be on a computer with JUMP installed in order to open this file. Uh, so if that's the case, um, you're going to right click or on a Mac you would command click. Um, save that to your desktop or whatever file you like. Um, it's going to go on my desktop. Uh, actually, it's already there, but that's where you would save it. Uh, and then you'll be able to open it. And there might be a slight delay. Okay, so we are in Jump. Uh, a few windows should be open. One of them is the big data table. So that's this guy here. There's also a little welcome window with a, you know tips that show at startup. Um, we don't really need that. Um, so I'm going to close that. And I'll go ahead and maximize the data table window so that I can get a good look at what's going on. Um, now, before we get into the details, uh, we are going to change a few settings because if we change them once, then we don't have to keep uh, tweaking all of our graphs. So go up to File and pull down and go to Preferences. All right, um, so the first thing we're going to change uh, is under this Platform section. So click on Platforms. And down uh, in the letter D's, uh, look for distribution. Select that. Okay, we're gonna make a few changes. Um, so we are going to check some boxes. Uh, check the box next to horizontal layout. Uh, also the one below it, axes on left. And further down, count axis. All right. So we added those three. And then if you're on a Windows machine, uh, go over to the far left and look for Windows specific. Click on that. And um, about three quarters of the way down, it says auto hide menu and toolbars. Uh, we don't want that, so change that to never. Okay, uh, then you can press okay. Okay. All right, there we go. We're all configured. All right, so the, the general idea here is that each row represents one observational unit. Um, and these are all vehicles that were manufactured in 2015. So one type of vehicle is the Chevrolet Spark. It's a hatchback. And we can learn a lot about it by looking at all the different columns. So each column is a variable. Um, you know, the make, i.e. the brand of the car varies, the model varies, uh, its type, its price, and so on. You can see a list of those columns or variables off to the far left. Uh, so note that some have a little red icon that looks like a histogram, whereas others have a blue triangle. So that indicates um, the type of variable that we have. Um, the red ones indicate a categorical variable. So like, uh, you know, there are multiple cars here that are all in the Chevrolet category or the Hyundai category. Whereas the blue is a numeric variable. So, you know, we have a measure of the price or a measure of the, the fuel economy. Right, so lots of uh, interesting uh, variables. We can compare and contrast these vehicles in many ways. All right, so uh, let's consider the simplest case first which would be a single variable. Uh, so suppose we want to look at a single categorical variable. I'm going to choose the type of vehicle. Um, so what style of vehicle is it? All right, so if I'd like to make a bar chart for this type, uh, I'm going to go up to Analyze. And the first item on the list is Distribution. All right, a new window pops up. 
And I'm going to choose which variable I would like to analyze. So I'm going to analyze the type. So I'll click on that. And while it's highlighted, I'll click Y columns. Uh, alternatively, you can click and drag and drop. And now I'm, I'm going to analyze the type. So once you've done that, press OK. And provided that you did the uh, configuration steps at the beginning, uh, your, your bar chart should look a lot like mine. So it lists on the bottom the, the different types of vehicles. We have seven passenger vehicles, hatchbacks, sedans, sports cars, SUVs, and wagons. Uh, on the y-axis, we have the count. So you might be more uh, familiar calling that the frequency. Uh, so if you'd like to change it to frequency, you can. Uh, just click on the word count, and it will let you type in something else. I'm going to call mine frequency. Okay, so we can see from our bar chart that um, sedans were by far the most common type of vehicle. Um, now, how common were they? Uh, we are shown a table off to the right with the frequencies. So for each category, uh, we have the count or frequency. And we also have the probability or relative frequency. So um, you, you're familiar with making these by hand, but especially with a large data set like 110 vehicles, uh, this is quick and easy. So for instance, uh, we can see that sedans, well, there were 46 of them out of 110, which gives us a relative frequency or proportion of 0.41818. All right. Um, so you'll notice that uh, underneath the categories here, it doesn't it doesn't say exactly what these are categories of. So if you um, put your cursor down below that axis and right click or command click on uh, a Mac, you can add a label. So I might say uh, type. OK, so that's uh, telling me the variable. And then these are the categories of the type. Uh, finally, we can retitle this figure if we'd like to be a little bit more descriptive. So just double click up at the top where it says type. And we can change that to be a little bit more um, specific. I might say uh, vehicle types in the year 2015, maybe. And click anywhere and it'll be saved. All right, so uh, uh, provided that all your uh, uh, labels and titles are set the way that you like them, uh, you can print if you like, or you could save as. And I would recommend uh, if you're going to be working amongst uh, multiple computers, um, to save that as something like a uh, JPEG or a PDF that can be opened on any computer. Because um, especially if you're working in the computer lab and then you want to finish the assignment on your laptop at home, uh, if you don't have Jump, uh, that may be uh, making things difficult. So just save it in a format that that is uh, universal. Okay, so that was our bar chart um, showing a single categorical variable. Now, what if we had two categorical variables? Uh, so say we're, we're still interested in the type of the vehicle, uh, but maybe we're also interested in the drive, uh, which is, is it a front wheel drive vehicle, all wheel drive, or rear wheel drive? Okay, so now uh, we don't have just one variable, we have two, uh, an X and a Y. So we're gonna go to Analyze and choose Fit Y by X. All right, so one of our variables will be X and one will be Y. Uh, on the assignment you're given, I'll, I'll tell you which one is which. I'm gonna use drive as X and type as Y. All okay, so um, this is called a mosaic plot. Um, uh, Thank you.